I, in one of my previous videos, there is a teardown of a very, very bad battle tank control panel. And uh, yes, update, I did finally scrap it. So, I did test most of the parts out of it, and uh, some of them were bad. In particular, this one. So, it is an aircraft grade circuit breaker from Mechanical Products in Jackson, Michigan uh, rebranded by the French ECE company we have I believe somewhere a dead code, yes of 1976 so it was at the bottom of the uh, well it was at a location at least where it got uh, rusty and it is bad in a very interesting way. So I take this opportunity to show you my fancy uh, new Anang multimeter. I did choose the uh, expensive one, 8008, and I did pay uh, 15 euros on Banggood, including the special the set of uh, extra probes, which are really worth it, they are really convenient because you can uh, adapt a lot of things on them and uh, it is very uh, versatile so quite nice but it is not the subject of the day so what happens here here the circuit breaker is in the open position so it is normal that it is uh, infinite continuity infinite resistance rather but if I trigger it, look at what we have, we have a very high uh, resistance of over 1 mega ohm and for some reason it is increasing continuously probably uh, because of a small amount of current of uh, multimeter through it and eventually it will uh, go to infinite resistance or higher that one what can measure the multimeter at least so it is really uh, weird. These things are supposed to have less than uh, one ohm of uh, internal resistance as they are circuit breakers. You can see it is continuing to grow. going on and on until it will be out of range for the multimeter. So what is happening in here? I have no idea so we will open it. Uh, there is some uh, proof of uh, rust over it for sure but so maybe some uh, liquid who did uh, go inside some water. It is really really weird. Um, so to open it, uh, I will first need to dremel out the very some kind of uh, epoxy here at the bottom. Sorry for the shadow today, there is a lot of light, uh, sunlight outside. So I will uh, dremel a little bit this epoxy and then uh, I will drill these three uh, rivets or whatever they are. I have uh, firm uh, 20 euros uh, Dremel fake here, but uh, at least this one is uh, not too bad. It is a lot better than this thing I did show in an old video, and which is a complete uh, piece of junk. At least this one is powerful, it is even uh, maybe too powerful. Uh, even at the lowest speed. So let's do it. I am perfectly out of the frame. It is better here. Will be good enough this side. Oh, 
ok io ho detto il dito su ok no time for the drill let me grab what I need ok so I will try not to drill in my fingers Could be worse actually. Okay. So it seems the metal of the rivets was actually quite weak and it was really easy. Now I have to try try to drive out these things. Uh, may require actually yes I will drive the other side it will be easier I guess uh, I will drive it as I am um, not drill so a little bit more of drive action <coughs> Okay, it is making a terrible mess. Uh, safety first, I always try to keep my fingers on my face out of the path of the cutting di disc. I have no gloves or security googles, but at least. So, now I can try to pop out these things, maybe. Here is this kind of uh, metal cover I need first to undo, I guess. Oh, it is perfectly not coming. Okay. You know what? Mandremel. <laughs> So I hope it will be enough because it is already a lot of dust. Okay, now uh, I can try to pry out this uh, metal piece. Maybe. Let me grab something else. As always, the trusty Swiss knife. Ok, 
okay. This one should come also, maybe. It is really not easy to open this thing. Okay, it is coming. Uh, I guess it is good for this part. Okay, at least. So, what else? Uh, first, I will do a little bit more, like so. I will try to remain in the frame. So, I did drill the free rivets. Uh, it would be nice to pull them out completely, but This one is coming almost. We grab some more pliers. Okay, one is off. It is really a pain to open this little thing. Clearly, not made for it. This one will not come. Nice. And this one. Okay, this one is coming at least. Okay, so two of them are removed. Now I can try maybe to insert the blade in here and open it. Mm. Seems to be actually very hard. So, um, time for the precision tool. Okay. I try to keep the internals as intact as possible because the goal is to find out what is the fail in this thing. Um, I need to cut here at the end also. Maybe, okay. I think we are good. And it is already terrible pile of parts. So what do we have? Uh, we have this thing is annoying. Okay. Uh, contact piece here and the internals. We must have some, uh, yes, it is written, it was uh, 15 amps, and here on this part it is written 15. So it is most probably the part that is actually sensing the current, and that will trigger the. Uh, Breaker. Ah, this thing is uh, so. I am interested to see. Interested to see. Do we have any proof of moisture inside this or not? This spring here is a weird color. It is green. We have here the button, which seems to be attached with this little pin which I can remove here and now it is off so there is this uh, white uh, ring this part is actually it seems made of aluminium we have some uh, uh, it must be the locking mechanism in here that will uh, lock somehow in this. Here we have something element. So obviously, uh, yes, the current is passing through it. 
And it is doing something, probably, it is a bimetal piece. And it will bend, I believe, with uh, it. And then it will uh, trigger something in here to release the contacts, which uh, will be pushed out of the way by, uh, most probably, uh, this beefy spring. And about the contacts themselves, I did completely win the thing, so there is one still attached here. So the other side will be here. So this is quite uh, sad, you can see. And it will make contact with this. So yes, it is the part is the actual uh, contact. Um, quite interesting so what I want to check if uh, is the resistance of this uh, temperature something thing or current something thing rather in order to make sure it is not a feature in fact so we have two very nice uh, silver coated uh, Copper braids here, and yes, you can see we have only 0 0.05 ohms here. So, this part is not the failing one. Obviously, it is the contacts. So, if I do this and this, it is here that I have a very, very high resistance while it is supposedly just a contact in fat. So somehow this metal pad here failed, it oxidized or something and it is showing very high resistance. So this is interesting. I will check the other one here. It is the same. Really, really weird. Now, what I need to do, of course, is try to clean them and see if the problem disappears. So I have some uh, number 600. Uh, Emery paper here. Let's try to do something. Try to retrieve a shiny surface finish at least. A little bit more. Almost. Could be good enough so I can try again to measure how much resistance it is showing now. Uh, I will grab this one river. Okay. And yes, it is much better. So yes, we I think I think we found the failure of the surface of these contacts got uh, oxidized and are showing extremely high resistance. The uncleaned one, you can see, it is almost even overloading my uh, multimeter, except at one spot in the middle here. But really, really interesting. So probably they were in contact uh, quite uh, strongly together when the switch was, when the breaker was one in a, still in one piece. So here I have 
not too much but here overload interesting there is two millimeters distance between the two spots maybe I am cleaning it yes I am uh, rubbing the alligator clip so it is a uh, a crocodile clip or whatever you want to call it and yes it is uh, doing a clean path now in the top of the contact but still it is an interesting mother failure so there is no really evidence of uh, water going inside at least I do not find any marks of uh, dried water so maybe it is just the uh, moist environment that did uh, create this uh, surface uh, oxidation. So there is obviously this spring, I do not think it is supposed to be green. Must be a copper spring. Actually I can try, I can test this. If I can grab this, yes, it looks probably some kind of copper uh, coated metal. I found one more spring here, and now all this is just up. So I hope you did enjoy this uh, circuit breaker autopsy. I was really interested to see what was the fail in this. So it was quite uh, entertaining, actually. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.